Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over replacing the RAM in a Dell Latitude D620 laptop. The RAM on here is a, can be a pain in the butt because not only do you have access to your, your B slot, which is on the bottom of the laptop right here, you also have to remove your keyboard to get at your A slot, which is right under your space bar here. So we'll be doing that. Um, first thing you got to do is you have to remove your hinge cover. Okay, This can be a little tricky. It feels like it's going to break, but as long as you go slow, um, you know, you shouldn't have nothing to worry about. First, um, well, first let's remove the battery. Get the battery out. Let me set my camera down. Of course, the battery removal is just sending these two tabs out, pulling the battery straight towards you, and then up, bam, done. Bam, done. Okay. So now we'll get back at this, uh, the RAM. Okay. You have to open your screen all the way up, 180 degrees. Now the hinge cover, you have to get a slotted screwdriver or something right in this indentation here. Okay, this hinge cover is very narrow, okay? Um, so there's not a lot of gription to grab hold of. But you get your screwdriver or something slotted in there, and you just start working up. Now right here, it feels like you might snap it, but as long as you work, kind of pull towards the side that's out, pull like in this direction and up to maintain a good tension on it. And work that up. And then she'll pop out. You got the two pieces here, which go in right there. Okay, so we have the hinge cover out. All right. Now, in order to get the, the keyboard, you have to remove one screw, two screw, and three screw right there. I, I just can't get over how well made this, this laptop is. I know it's a uh, kind of a commercial grade. Okay, so get this screw out. Now, once again, these screws are freaking little bitty things. You do not want to be losing them. And if you got fat fingers and no nails like I do while trying to hold a camera, I'll get that one in a minute here. Okay, next screw. This size zero Phillips bit is just about the perfect size. Okay, that screw is loose. We'll get this one out here. Okay, that screw also is loose. Okay, we got a slotted screwdriver. Get in there and try to catch that screw. I'll, I'll lift this keyboard up first. This is quite a pain doing it with one hand. I gotta get my freaking glasses off because I can't see squat anymore. Can't see close, can't see far. Okay, so I got the screwdriver in there. Lift it up. You can see little tabs right here that uh, kind of lock this keyboard in. All right, we got that and that. Once again, we don't want to lose these screws. All right, got that one out. Okay, let's get this side of the keyboard out of there. Okay, bam, got you. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, I'll get that. Okay, now the keyboard lifts. You just lift her straight up towards you. Okay, and then work it out from the bottom. You have all these little little tabs which go into corresponding grooves and the uh, wrist rests or whatever they call them on the, on the laptop. Okay, once you got the keyboard up, you can set it, just take her, flip her over like so. Okay. Here's where the, you don't actually have to remove the keyboard all the way to get at the RAM. The RAM is right here. But we'll go over removing this keyboard anyways. Okay, so the keyboard connects right here. First, what you want to do is take this blue little little uh, holder thingy. If you move this side back, okay, you can you can get this to lift up out of there. Come on. Once again, trying to do it while holding the camera is a pain in the ass. Alright, well, we'll remove this first. Okay, to get this, just take your little blue tabby here, pull straight up. 
and that'll, that'll release your cable. Now, we gotta get this. Okay, so to do this, you just you push this back, and then you lift this up. I'm gonna set the camera down. Side of it. Okay, let me see if I can get at an angle where we can see it, it happening live. Okay, get this out of the way. Here we go. We're gonna get you. Bam. Done. You okay, got that lifted up. Now your keyboard is free. So if you ever gotta replace your keyboard, oh son of a bitch. Look what I did. Slapping it around. See, you gotta be careful. Knock the enter key right off that son of a bitch. Which, we'll just pop that back on. That's just gonna go in. And uh, we'll go over that in a minute here. Okay, now the RAM. Now remember, this is this is stick A. Okay, you just pull these tabby thingies off to the side, and your RAM will pop right up. Just take it out. See, DIM A, DDR2 only. Okay, so that's how you get at your DIM A, which, if you only have one stick, this is a stick you have to have in. So, just to let you know that. Okay, so I'm going to pop this back in. Since I don't actually have any new RAM to stick in here. Okay, you want to get your, your little groove here. Lined up with... Let me see if I can get in here to see this with the camera. Okay, right there. You got your little, your little slot there. So, we'll take the RAM. And as you can see, I'm not using a ground strap. And I'm standing on carpet. And blah, 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 blah. But that's the way I roll. I live on the edge. Okay. So, you stick your, your RAM in there. And you just push down. These little tabs will... Come on, you son of a... I'm getting a little frustrated here. Okay, zoom in, camera. Get some light in there so we can see. Okay, these, these little tabs here will... They just... They'll generally pop back in by themselves. Okay, you just want to make sure it's seated. All right, that is good. Now, what you can do while you have this apart like this, you can get some uh, compressed air, you know, blow out your internals. The fan here on this laptop is pretty dirty. Um, it could use some some canned air. Okay, we got that done. I'm going to fix this keyboard, and then we'll stick the keyboard back in and get to the bottom piece of RAM. Oops, where am I going to do with my camera? Okay. Keyboard reinstallation. Same way. Lift your blue thing up here. Right there. Take your connector. Get her on there. And push down. Like so. Then we want to take our blue thingamajiggity here. And work this piece. Slide that over. Pop that down. Good. In. Okay. Now. Just take your keyboard. Lift it up over. Hopefully no more keys are falling off. <laughs> Alright. Get these things in first here. Okay, you want to work them in, like so. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> then your keyboard, it'll have, uh, get these little, make sure you get all your, you know, push it down to get your little tabbies under the, under the tabbies there. Okay, you get down, there'll be a little, a little spring pressure on it, you know, it doesn't lay exactly flat. Then what we do here is we get our screws, which... This one's still sitting right here. So I will get you so much. There we go. Get you picked up. Get the screws back in it. And of course when you're screwing this stuff in, you don't wanna you don't wanna freaking be reefing on these on these little screws. Okay, get you in. You just want to turn till it till it snugs. I guess I'm gonna to have to do another video on just replacing the keyboard if I can't get this one to fit or to work. Boy, it'll really suck. Okay, get that tightened up, snug, good. Okay, now putting your your uh, hinge cover back in. This one's a little, a little just doesn't feel right, you know. It always feels like you're gonna break the thing, but. Uh, Get that in there, you know, make sure you're over top, and then start 
push them down as you go you'll see you'll have this gap right here this gap we gotta we gotta work this in all the way and then take care of that take care of that gap I'll get you in there so as you let me set this camera down again okay all right so I'm gonna just work that in there Get it all snapped back and make sure it feels all nice and tight all over the place there. Okay, now well, we'll just close this. The, uh, you know, I'll just tell her that granddaughter broke her laptop and she won't yell at me. It's always good if you can point it on little ones. It's the way to do things. Okay, so now we want to get our RAM back here. This is our B slot. Okay, get that. I'm going to get a little door up and off. And bingo banga, there's B, right there. So, once again, this is just like A. You just push these little doodads back and your stick of RAM will, will just lift up, pop up. Take it, pull it out, get your new stick. Make sure you're lined up with the slot. And your, where the hell's my RAM here? Oh, there we are. Slot, slot. Slide her in. And then just push her down. And it will snap into place. If it doesn't want to go, you know, don't reef on it. Just just take your little screwdriver, move your tabby thing and jiggity back. Make sure it's seated. It's in there good. Then it's just a matter of popping the cover back on. And putting the screw back in. Stick your battery back in. Now just in here. Battery back in, you get up there, just drop it in, and pull it towards you. Your little thing with jiggies will come in there, flip her over, lift your cover, press your power button, and hopefully it's going to boot up without uh, telling me I broke it. Starting Windows. These really are a nice computer. They are freaking real sturdy. Except, obviously, the keyboards are defective. So, that's a, that's a bit of a problem there. I'll get that stuck back in there and we'll... No one will be the wiser. Okay, so we are officially working. I haven't broken anything else. Um, so, that's a good thing. All right. Let's shut her back down here. Okay, we'll let that shut down. And stick this. And stick this end under there. Oops. Come on, you prick. 